guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonnet, the owner and creator behind Sonnet's Garden Blooms. And in today's video, we are gonna be talking all things mushrooms. Yes, you heard me right, mushrooms, mushrooms, mushrooms. I recently discovered that anytime I put mushrooms into my booth uh, with the home decor, they sell like crazy. So I went out and I found these little tiny wooden mushrooms and today I am transforming them into ornaments. I'm gonna walk you through how I did that and then I am gonna showcase a few products that you can find on my website so that you can make your own home decor with mushrooms. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I can't wait to hear what you guys think. I ordered these mushrooms off Amazon and I will put the link below in the description in case you want to order some for yourself as well. But honestly, you guys, I was pretty impressed. Um, it breaks down to about a dollar a mushroom for what I paid. And honestly, I was a bit skeptical at first, but they are really a nice size mushroom, very heavy duty. And I love that it comes in four different shapes and sizes, and they really look like authentic mushrooms. Each container has 20 mushrooms. So what you're seeing here is two containers. So a total of 40 mushrooms. And I wanted to check to see if they were evenly matched with all the different sizes or if you got one or more of the other. Uh, definitely more of these small ones and less of this size, but more of this size right here. Just a few more and a little less of this size. The first thing I decided to do was paint all the caps the proper colors and the first color I chose was DIY's marquee. I actually went out to Pinterest you guys just to get some inspiration of what colors I should paint these uh, mushrooms and the colors that I chose today uh, was red from you know the marquee red. I also wanted to pick out a green so I chose gypsy green from DIY as well and then I wanted a blue so I chose farm fresh and then I was looking at the pictures and there was always like earthy oranges and so I thought summer crush would be the perfect orange for that and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to hit up my neutral folks. I have to have some neutral colors. So I grabbed vintage linen. I thought definitely add some white. Um, and then the accents on the white I thought would be good would be like black. And then I decided to add in a bit of gold. And I am going to show you all those colors now. Now that I have the red done, here's the gypsy green, you guys, and I think it's the perfect green for this. It's like one of my go-tos for fall. I also think it's perfect for this type of scenario. Next, uh, we're doing Farm Fresh, and again, another beautiful, beautiful color. This is perfect for like a more of a neutral Christmas tree as well. Now here is that Summer Crush and again, another favorite fall color for me, but this again is a perfect color for a mushroom cap. And one thing too, uh, I did not do it on any of these, but if you wanted it to be a little bit more distressed looking or not as vibrant, after you seal all of them, you can always go in with either the black wax or the dark wax just to give it a little bit more of a distressed look. I am so excited to tell you guys that I have officially opened up my Creative Network membership group. I do this every six months, so the next time it will be open is in April, and that, guys, will be the two-year anniversary. So I'm super excited about the membership group. It is a great group of ladies, and I can officially say they are all my friends. I love meeting with them every Tuesday at six o'clock. Um, we do that every week, and we cover a wide range of topics. Um, and we talk all things business. Well, not all things. We have a little fun here and there too, do some DIYs, um, but have a lot of great laughs and everyone 
we are all friends. I can honestly say that. So if you are looking for a group of ladies where you can be encouraged and really just be around like-minded individuals, then this is your group. If you want more information, definitely reach out. My email is info at sonnetsgardenblooms.com and I can't wait to hear from you. Now back to the show. After I got all the mushroom caps completely painted and dried, we are going to tackle the stems. And I'm using vintage linen, again, from DIY Paint. And we are painting all the stems, the vintage linen, and all you need is one coat. Now, all the products that I used in today's video, you can find out on my website at www.sonnetsgardenblooms.com. One other little note is that I also used Prairie Gray Apothecary, and then I used the Gold Gilding Wax as well. So those were a few extras that I did not show in the like video clips, but they were the perfect additions to these little mushrooms. I wanted to just share a little clip of the mushrooms with you so you can see at this point this is what they look like and they are so so cute. Uh, as you know DIY paint dries a little bit lighter um, but once you seal it and I'm using Big Top once you seal the DIY paint it does bring back that vibrant color again. So as you can see I'm adding just a little bit of the Big Top and how I did this was I sealed all the caps first, let those dry, and then I went back in and I sealed all the stems after that. I decided to go on a quick drive and here in Appleton, the colors you guys are absolutely gorgeous. Fall has definitely hit here. The leaves are falling, um, but I decided I was gonna get the little tiny eye screws. And so I headed over to Walmart initially and I got to the section and they did not have my size. In the past they did, but in the end, I had to head over to Menards and then they had my size of the eye screw. So we um, are going to add an eye screw to each one of these little um, mushrooms to make them be official ornaments. Three products that can help you create your own mushroom decor, the IOD Toadstool Mold, which is absolutely fabulous, Whispering Willow, an IOD transfer, and it's packed full of all kinds of mushrooms. And then the catalog of birds from Royce's uh, Recycled Decoupage Paper. I'm sure there might be a few more, but these are my top three favorites that are jam-packed full of mushrooms. They are completely dry and they look all vibrant and beautiful. And from here, I'm using white linen, which is a cottage color from DIY Paint. And the difference between the cottage colors and the DIY clay base paint is that there is a top sealer built in to the cottage colors. So once I decorate up these little mushrooms, there is no need to seal. So I have a very fine tip uh, paintbrush that is perfect for adding little dots to the mushroom caps. And I'm just going to add a series of dots to all the mushrooms and I'm doing this very random so I'm just adding a dot here and there and just making it look very random um, and after I did these small little dots I decided I wanted to add some bigger dots and just make them all look very unique um, just like a mushroom is now when I was talking bigger dots like on this one, I am just going to randomly go in and just paint a little round circle here and there and they don't have to be perfect. I recently watched the painted photographer on one of her Wednesday night lives and she um, painted a snowman and just how she was painting and adding in some depth with different colors. She very, very much inspired me. Um, yes, I'm only painting little dots, but I was completely inspired by what she did over on her Wednesday night live and painting her snowman. 
no ma'am. So um, once I got all the little white dots um, put on all the mushrooms, then I decided to go back in and I added, added a little bit of gold here and there. And after, and I, unfortunately I did not get any of this on video, but what I did afterwards, after I added the gold, um, to give it a little bit more depth uh, like she did on her paintings is then I went in and I did not have a black paint pen but I did have a black sharpie marker which is a very fine tip marker and then I added a little bit of um, just a, a little squiggly line on each of the little white and gold dots just to add a little bit more um, just interest to each of these mushrooms. Now that I completely decorated the mushrooms how I wanted them, I am going in and I'm going to add that eye screw that I went and had to buy. I am taking a little bit and I am going to pre-drill um, a little hole with that bit and this makes it go so easy. The only tip I have for you guys is that these little fine bits are very delicate so don't put a lot of pressure on when you're pushing them in I mean they will break I've had <laughs> numerous times where I thank goodness I buy a three pack of these little bits because they end up breaking because I put too much pressure so just let it do its job and don't put too much pressure when you're pushing down and, and drilling in so the other thing I recommend is having um, like a little pliers to hold your eye screw and then just twist and it goes right in and it makes it so much easier. I just hold the little eye screw with the pliers and then I actually start the little eye screw um, in that hole and then I just twist it right on in and it really goes by that much quicker. Um, but this whole process was, it was just so relaxing, you guys. I honestly, the la this last week has been very difficult with my back pain and I really was not inspired at all to do anything. Um, I, I guess I had forgotten how debilitating a back pain can be or any pain, um, but I did not want to move. I got into a comfortable position and I felt like that's all I wanted to do was lay around and do nothing. And when I started feeling a little bit better, um, I actually had to force myself to go in and do this project and it was exactly what I needed to do to get myself re-inspired and um, you know sometimes you just got to give yourself a good kick in the butt and get going. What did you guys think? You guys, I love those little mushrooms. I cannot wait to get them in my booth and really see how they go over for the holiday season. Um, mushrooms are a hot thing right now. So if you can get some mushroom decor in your booth, I would definitely do it. Um, I know pumpkins have been big for fall, but honestly, mushrooms have been big summer, fall. I think they're gonna be great for the holidays and for spring. Um, so I, again, hope you enjoyed today's video and the little whimsical little mushrooms that I created. Monday, I'm going to be back to DIYs or like thrift, uh, to treasure videos because I have a ton of stuff to catch up on after really focusing on Cranberry Fest for weeks and weeks and weeks. So that is what you're going to get on Monday. 
Um, Friday's video, I'm not really sure yet. I do need to, I, I kind of threw out a little, um, on Facebook, a little video on um, the IOD brick roller. And I do want to create a faux brick wall in my master bedroom and my master bath. So we'll see if I get to that now that I'm feeling a little bit better, guys. So <laughs> my back has been killing me. Um, that's what the gym will do to you. I took a little bit of time off while I was doing Cranberry Fest and then I go back and I'm totally out of shape, which I don't know how I could be out of shape, you guys, because I was lifting and toting and moving stuff for Cranberry Fest, but it was just that one move at the gym that did me in. So I am feeling a ton better and I'm back to my happy self and I cannot wait to start creating again. So watch for future Thrift to Treasure videos. I'm gonna to toss in probably some holiday stuff and just some regular stuff, whatever I'm feeling at the moment. Well, you guys have yourselves a great weekend and we will see you Monday. Bye.